minimum eight hours. And if you got one of them crazy jobs, they deduct your lunch. So you gotta be actually there nine hours. You don't get paid for that lunch. That's nine hours. Now that's the time you get paid for. While you're there, you're getting paid in a currency that is intentionally deflating between five and 15% a year. You're, you're still spending the same nine hours. You, they, don't, they don't let your time decrease as long. You don't now, after 15 years on the job, you're working three hours a day. You're still nine hours, but the money that you're getting paid in is not real money. And so your buying power is being deflated year over year. You're getting older, weaker, sicker, tighter, and the money's getting older, weaker, sicker, tighter, but you're still giving the same nine hours. Tell me how balanced that is. And then you get back in traffic, drive all the way home, and you got to unwind everything you wound up. So you got to undress, take a shower, figure out dinner, spend a couple of hours with the spouse and your kids, help them with homework, feed them out of a brown paper bag so they can go to bed with, with uh, it, my digestive issues. And they're watching you, so you're teaching them to do the same thing. How, how to balance is that? And then you wake up out of a drunken stupor at 65 and say, that didn't work. But now you taught your kids, they're 40. They're already experiencing it. Now they gray hair and they frustrated. How out of balance is that? My children now see me and my wife do what we want to do. And they're getting vexed with the whole corporate structure. They already see that it really doesn't work. They're already now thinking like entrepreneurs. We got it so the school system and the religious system and the political system has twisted us in a knot so much so so a Thai best can live a free lifestyle for 30 years and they still call me on the scam. It's so messed up. Eric Thomas this morning said, if you work a job, you will die broke. He didn't equivocate. He said, if you have a job, you will die broke. This is like a 95% absolute statement. And all of us on this platform, I said type loud when you see him lying, all of us on this platform have had jobs and we know that what Eric Thomas said is true. And yet we still mindlessly do it all out of balance. And we never say that. We never say out of balance when we talk about work. I'm done with my tirade. Look, Mr. Mike Johnson is working with some folks, and you know it's going to be, you know it's going to blow your mind because he's a numbers guy. I said, I can give you some overall view, but he's working on a thing called how much does it cost you to have a job? Good Lord. Oh my goodness. That's a whole nother, that's an elevated thing. That's thinking on a whole nother level. So, wait, my job don't cost me money. My job pays me. Uh uh. It costs you money to go to work anymore. Mrs. Devin just told you it costs two hours of your life before you can get to work. Just getting up, eating breakfast, getting dressed, and then driving there. Cost you two hours to get home. Okay, think about it. That's four hours time five. That's 20 hours of your life right there. Just coming mm -hmm. back and forth to work. Just preparing. Now my preparation for work is throwing a baseball cap. Okay. Look, look go to my closet downstairs, throw a t-shirt on, and jump on the 1045. And then you know, you know, many days I don't even do that. I don't even put the camera on. Mr. Best, my son was gonna drive. Not Uber, Uber is pretty good. He was gonna do DoorDash. And I and I did it. You do what you gotta do. He was gonna do DoorDash. And his car, it's a Mustang. It's a nice Mustang. And I said, son, and he wasn't doing it full time because he's in barber school and he has another job. And it's just our allowance. So I said, son, I said, when you drive DoorDash, how much do you make per week? He said, about three hundred dollars. You know, if I'm really really humping about three hundred dollars a week. I said, how much you put in your gas tank? And he said, about 60, 65 hours for that week. I said, and how much wear and tear is it on your vehicle? He said, wear and tear on my vehicle? I said, yeah, yeah. How much uh, car repairs are you going to have to do? He said, I don't know. I said, exactly. You don't even know the cost of this business model. Same. If you take the $65 in gas out, if you're down to 230 and then... You take the time that it took to, to be doing something else that builds your own well. What is your time Ooh. worth? And then the wear and tear on your vehicle, you can't calculate that. What is that worth? I said, son, and then the mileage on your car, the wear and tear on your vehicle. I said, son, you're paying them to deliver for them. I said, go right now and quit that job. 
Now, if uh, I see some people that do advanced, they really know how to map out their route and stuff, and they do well, okay? But for my son, that wasn't going to work. It wasn't, it wasn't lucrative. It wasn't lucrative. I said, but boy, you can come over here and sit with me, and I can teach you how to make that two, three hundred bucks a week right over here in GS Partners and make it in crypto. And a blink. So, look, you said one thousand dollar package a week, you can get that done. God. And wait a minute. Mm -hmm. And they like delivering a meal, and then this then wait a minute, then you got to go deliver another one to get paid, and another one to get paid, and another one to get paid. So I'm saying that's what, man, if a person understands that one thing, the possibility you get paid over and over again. This is the next question. I know, I know it's going to no, no, I'm oh. sorry. I got to say one more thing. You can go ahead and bring it up, Mr. Wick. Uh, Mr. Best stopped me from cutting my own grass. I used to cut my own grass because I was like, why am I pay somebody? This, my first house that I bought was very small yard. I thought, I'm going to pay somebody to cut that grass. It'll take me an hour, and I'll cut that grass, and I'm done. Mr. Best said, Mike, how many people could you have called in this time? Oh, I just dropped my head on the desk. <laughs> I said, oh, I'm so stupid. You don't trade your time. Your time is so valuable. Spend, invest your time building something. Go ahead, Mr. Wayne. 